and we have discussed about 1D arrays and uh, we have discussed about the 2D arrays also and we have display, uh, displayed this uh, 2D arrays also. So in this session let's start with uh, packed arrays or uh, 3D packed arrays. So we have 3D packed arrays also. So let me declare one 3D packed array like this. So uh, this is a syntax for 3D packed array. So here 1 down to 0 uh, represents the number of locations and 1 down to 0 uh, represents the number of bits in each location. So there are two locations and each location is of 2 bit, two bit and uh, there are total 2 arrays. Uh, let me show the output so that it will be more easy to understand. So here we will first of all assign a value to this array. A underscore so after one time unit A underscore 3D equal to uh, let's say two locations and uh, four right. So there will be four. Let's take eight. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So, A underscore 3D has a value of this and let us display this. So, the value, the elements in A underscore 3D are percentage P comma A underscore 3D. So let's uh, display this uh, array. Let me compile it. So I have declared a underscore 3D as uh, I have given the elements and uh, I'm trying to display. Okay, sorry, I have taken more number of elements here. Now let's see whether we are getting it. No, so we should take only four elements. Sorry, 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 sorry. I have taken the width as a two. Uh, okay. Sorry, so the width of the uh, array is 2, so that's why and uh, we cannot uh, use this representation like uh, we cannot use this uh, concatenation representation when we wanted to store elements in a packed array, we should uh, use this type of representation, we, can, we cannot use this type of representation. So I was trying to use that uh, representation. So a tick binary 0 1 0 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8. So now let's see our output. So I was trying another way to store that uh, elements into the array. So let us compile it. And simulate it. So here we can see, uh, I am getting, wait a minute, uh, let me take some some more number, some more number of, uh, let me increase the width to 16 bit and let me add some more numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, yeah, now let's see what happens before that uh, let me compile it i need to end the simulation again End simulation I 
presencia. Let us meet again. Uh, let me reset the layout also. Okay, so I am displaying in a decimal format so i am getting the output as decimal format so here we can see there are two locations and each location consists of uh, two bits so 3 is equal to 10 so i am displaying in uh, decimal format so i am getting in decimal format so if it in binary then each location consists of two bits and there are two locations and there are two arrays here so this is one packed array so this is one array and this is another array so this is the representation of 3d packed array so there will be i have mentioned two locations and each location consists of two bits so if i uh, represent the uh, if i display in binary then i will get uh, one zero sorry one one here uh, so in each location i will get two bits and and I am having two arrays here. So this is the representation of 3D packed array. So if you are having any doubt, you can ask me or else we can uh, proceed further. Is this clear? Can we move forward? And we can also use uh, packed arrays of uh, logic type also. We are allowed to use uh, packed arrays of logic type. So logic 7 down to uh, not 7 down to 0, two locations we will take and 7 down to 0 a underscore logic. So this is one packed array. And I will assign this to a underscore logic uh, two locations, right? So sixteen bit binary one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I will display this. dollar display the value of a underscore logic is i will represent in binary so it will be more clear comma a underscore logic here i will represent it in percentage p not b so let me run it again So, here we can see uh, there are uh, two locations, one location one location consists of 8 bits and another location consists of another 8 bits and this array is of type logic and uh, let me show uh, like what it will look like when we use a uh, percentage P. instead of percentage b here i use percentage p then it will be more clear let me simulate it see here there are two locations uh, the console we can see wait a minute 
so at the console we can see there are two locations and in one location so for representing 10 we need 4 bits and for representing 15 we need another 4 bits so there are two locations and e and in each location we are having 4 bits so this is a packed array so this is all about the packed arrays and unpacked arrays in system bedlock so if you are having any particular doubt about this packed and unpacked array you can ask me now or else we can uh, continue with further topic so uh, we have completed with the, our packed arrays and unpacked arrays so let's start with uh, another new topic called uh, wait a minute. so till now we have discussed about uh, fixed size arrays so till now we have discussed about uh, fixed size arrays this means uh, say packed or unpacked say whether it is packed or whether it is uh, unpacked the size is fixed and we have already declared the size before compile time so the size of the array is uh, fixed before the uh, compile time that is uh, say int uh, a of uh, 10 or uh, in uh, logic uh, b of 6 like that we have uh, fixed the size of the array so after this fixed size arrays, uh, we will have another topic called dynamic arrays. So, in case of uh, dynamic arrays, the size of the array is not fixed. So, here the size of the <coughs> array is uh, not fixed here it is variable and remember one thing this is not synthesizable so the dynamic arrays are not synthesizable so remember this thing and uh, the representation for dynamic arrays are data type followed by name of the array followed by square braces here we will not mention any size before compile time so this is before compile time we will not mention any size but during run time we will give the size of the array so in case of uh, in case of uh, fixed size arrays uh, say suppose if we declared int uh, a of uh, 5 then we can only allocate 5 elements into this array but in case of this dynamic array at the time of declaration uh, we will not mention the size at all we will not mention the size at the time of declaration so at the time when we are allocating the elements into this array we will declare some size during the runtime and we will we will allocate the elements into into this dynamic array so this is how the dynamic arrays work the dynamic array works so the size of the dynamic array is not uh, defined before the compile time it is uh, defined during the runtime and we will allocate the size using the operator called new so using this operator we will allocate the uh, size of the dynamic array and we will allocate the elements to this array so is this clear and remember one thing dynamic arrays are not synthesizable 
yeah is this clear yes bro yeah so uh, wait a minute one minute so let us uh, take an example of a dynamic array so within a module say test i can have dynamic arrays of any type let's say i am taking oh, uh, a dynamic array of type logic and the name of the dynamic array is a followed by empty square brackets so this is a represent representation of a dynamic array so if you find if you <coughs> if you see anywhere empty square brackets declared so you can identify easily that it is a dynamic array so within an initial beginning block i will allocate the size of the dynamic array by using the keyword new so i will allocate so if i want to have 10 locations then i can allocate a is equal to new of 10 so here i will have 10 locations created for my array so like this 10 locations will be created for my array 1 2 3 so on an array of 10 locations will be created and i can assign 10 elements to my array a is equal to using this method we can assign 10 elements to my array so like this we can uh, allocate the elements into my dynamic array or else in some cases uh, say some module tb so in this case we will understand uh, why we are using dynamic arrays logic e and so i have declared a dynamic array so within an initial beginning block so let's say uh, we have a parameter i which is equal to 5 so let's say a is equal to new of i so according to the parameter value the size of the dynamic array will get changed so here the i value is 5 so the size of the dynamic array will be equal to 5 and uh, from verilog uh, we all know the concept of parameter overriding right so with the help of parameter overriding if we override this value and if we change the value from 5 to 3 then the size of the dynamic array will be equal to 3 and so that the size of the array is dynamically getting changed we can also change the size of the array from 5 to 10 so like this we can change the size of the dynamic array dynamically so this is about dynamic array in system so is this clear